Ladies and gentlemen, whoa, welcome back to the Daily Smash for Thursday, May 18th, 2023. I'm Rich. I'm Kelly. We are coming to you from West Hampton, New York. Another grueling day at work here on the house. Whoa, <laughs> you did the most of the grueling work. A Kelly's, lot of work. Kelly's been sick. Yeah. Well, you guys, I've been, I have the allergies. <clears throat> Not used to the pollen. <sighs> but we would like to remind you that the Daily Smash is brought to you by Ilya Wine. We don't have any with us, but I, uh, Layla left me a message. It's on the way. Oh, good. There was a mix-up. It's coming. Oh, good. Um, I cannot wait to drink it. And she extended, <laughs> me either. She extended the 20% discount. So Rick and Kelly 20 at Ilya.com. I want some. 20% off. Especially after a hard day's work like oh, we had you, today. You earned it. Um, we're going to Newsmax today, Thursday. I'm going to be on the 2 to 4 o'clock Eastern Time hours doing like segments. And they said, well, can Kelly come on too? <laughs> I, I said, Kelly, you want to be on Newsmax? Oh, God. So watch Newsmax today. Can you guys please watch Newsmax today? Please. You have please. no idea what they're going to talk to you about. No. Which is going to be funny. It's a women's panel, I was told. Oh, wow. They're not, they're not going to know what they're going to get from me. <laughs> That's for sure. But well, you're not shy. But good news is we're all like-minded and we don't get our feelings hurt mm -hmm. like some people out there. Oh, speaking of which, I want to weigh in on the Meghan Markle, Prince Harry paparazzi near death experience uh the catastrophic event i have some very strong opinions about that also doing news nation oh yeah right, with dan abrams oh that's nice hope you'll tune in and we have a big weekend ahead i think we're going to record our friday show friday morning early so with dan dan abrams tomorrow what are you guys going to talk about um he gave me his producer sent me a list of like eight stories Oh, wow. Tucker Carlson's one of them. Uh-huh. Uh, President, former President Obama saying that he's, he can't sleep at night because of the divide uh -huh. in the country. Oh, uh, he can't sleep at night because yeah. of the divide? That's keeping him up at night. Oh, okay. Um, there was something about... Remember I showed you that thing with the Dodgers broadcaster who used the N-word when he was talking about a museum? Mm hmm And so there's a story about that. I don't know, a couple others. Oh, okay. Uh, Those so, are good. Yeah, no, it should be should be a, a very interesting hour. And when is that? What time is that tomorrow? I think it's in prime time on News Nation. I'm not sure if it shows at eight or nine o'clock. I think. Okay. Uh, Eastern time. Uh, you were recognized at Home Depot today. I was. No makeup. Zero makeup. I look like crap. The cashier was like, "You look like a housewife." She's like, "You look like one of those housewives." I'm like, because I was on the Housewives. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I it was had, funny. It was. It was. It was funny. We spent a record amount of money at Home Depot today. I feel like and we were at Costco. I think your phone's ringing. I said to Kelly, because she's very good at guessing the check or guessing how much something costs. Really ridiculously good. I so am. I should be on Prices Right. You should. You absolutely should. I said, what do you think we just spent at Home Depot? She goes, I don't know, $1,500? It was fourteen ninety four and change. Well, you know what? If we were to pay somebody to do this work, it would be a heck of a lot oh more God. money. Oh. A heck of a lot more money. We got a, like, a lot of paint and tools. I got a new weed trimmer. Like, all kinds of stuff. Hedge trimmer, sorry. Um, but you don't need to hear about all that. It is runway room Thursday as well. I did my makeup today. It was so funny because, as I told you earlier, we went to Home Depot and I didn't have any makeup on all day. And I put my makeup on with my wonderful, beautiful um, palette. I think it's called Minx. I love it. See? And Rick goes, wow. I love the eyeshadows. They're just so great. I can't see what this one is. It's called Eye Dust um, Sunset. I dust sunset. Love this. Yeah. And I love the lipsticks. Very moisturizing. Love them. And he goes, wow, you look really pretty today. Or tonight. And I'm like, yeah, because you saw me all day without any makeup. And as soon as I put some on, I look prettier. I mean, it's so funny 
what makeup can it, do for somebody. It, it's shocking. Or you're beautiful without makeup. And I tell you that all the time. Yeah, but it just... It, but, but it, it, it does just does. Take it up a notch. <laughs> so I looked at you after you did your one-way room, and I was like, wow, you look smoking hot. Because she does. No, you it, do. No, it just enhances everything. It yeah. just, I don't know. Like, I, I'm like, wow. Things makeup really Makeup really does wonders for someone's <laughs> face. So uh, <laughs> Kelly's favorite makeup runway room uh, they offer a 20% discount with the discount code Kelly20. It's from Australia, which I love anything Australian. Yeah. I love the, Zimmerman. I like every, I love Australian and stuff. And the people who are buying it, because a lot of people have bought it thanks to your discount code. And they, and they love it. They, they love, love it. it. Thank you guys so yeah. much for supporting this small business. You know what? We're in a global economy. <laughs> like, honestly. So yeah. thank you so much. Like, we are one world and... I know her. Like, me do everything American made, but this this girl is awesome, and and I just love anybody that just starts off something by themselves and does well with it. Yeah. So congratulations on runway room makeup. I For hope sure. you guys become really really big. One thing I forgot to mention at home. Because I love it. Thank you. Uh, I <laughs> everything's self serve now, so I needed a screen door to replace the screen door here, and it was on an upper shelf. And of course, there was no one around. And I went around the corner, and I found one of those movable stairs. So I set up my phone because I thought it'd be a cute video, and I and I, and I shot a video of it. Where I wheeled that stair back around the corner and climbed up and got the screen door myself. And and you know, then we get to check out. It's like you're supposed to scan everything yourself now. And it happened to you at the drugstore. The lady was reprimanding you because you weren't putting it in the right place. You're like, I don't work here. I don't, I don't work. The lady got mad at my CVS here. And there's a bag to the right and there's a thing to the, the, the bag's to the right. So you immediately think that you put it on the right yeah. and then you bag to the left, right? The, uh, and the lady reprimanded me. She says, do you see you put, the bags I'll go right there with the, yeah, out in the front right mm -hmm. there. And I'm like, I go, I don't work here, okay? Like, why am I even doing this myself? I went in that same drugstore. Why are you getting mad at me for doing this? Like, doing your job, store. by the way. It's just so, like, there is no customer service. Oh, and then at the airport, remember when we had that whole debacle? Uh huh. The lady goes, You're not doing the, um, the, the sticker right. I didn't do. I didn't take off the tag. I, you know, you had to peel one part oh, off. Oh, and you put the luggage tag I, on. I don't work here. Right. I'm sorry. Like, I don't get paid. Like, I. it's just so crazy how everything has turned upside down in the world. I went to the same drugstore. And I went up to the, I think it was the same lady. <laughs> and she was standing behind the registers. And I was, I was determined not to scan everything myself. I wanted her to do it. Right. So I went up to her at the counter where the registers are. And she goes, oh, over here, credit card over here. And she walks me over to the self-scanner instead of just doing it herself and put me through the same thing she put you through. Right. Anyway. Well, that, that, you know, that's the thing I don't, like, okay, if we're going to do everything ourselves, why do I have to pay 6% six, six commissions to realtors? Just sorry. I'm like, you know, like, if I find the house myself and I don't have a realtor, why am I paying all those commissions? Like it, that, that's, that's the thing that like irritates me with real estate. I, I'm sorry. I just have a real issue with that. Okay. You know, in New York city, when you rent an apartment, you have to pay the broker who showed you the apartment a commission. There's only a handful of companies. I, that, I, I find that, that, uh, that obnoxious. That you have to, you have to pay renting an apartment. You have to pay the broker. Why? And the building pays the broker in most cases too. Why? Well, but I, if I find it on Redfin or on Zillow, yeah. why should I have to? Why should I? Why can't I keep that's, those commissions? That's the way they set it up. No, well, I know. We need to change that. Okay. You let's know what? We're on. letting we're letting all these illegals come in. We're allowing um, our kids to be taught woke stuff. Why can't I keep my commissions on, on a property that I'm selling by my? I, you can do for sale by owner, I guess. But well, we're going to get our real estate licenses, and then we won't have to worry about that anymore. Okay. No, let's just do that. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, in the news now. In the news. I want to talk about this uh, Meghan Markle, Prince Harry, alleged New York City paparazzi chase ordeal. <clears throat> His camp, Harry and Meghan's camp, called it a near-catastrophic, over-two-hour paparazzi car chase. Someone called it near-death experience. 
Okay, you had a near death experience. I, I did. How we, we talked is, about this on Patreon today. This they either paid for this to come out saying near death because you had a near death experience. When I this wrecked is, my car on the no I ten high speed into a wall and then a tractor trailer, that was a near death experience. I could have been killed. Right. This getting chased around Manhattan for an hour and it, while they're in a private car and then a taxi with a police escort, that's not a near death experience. It's not near catastrophic. Sorry. And the whole reason that they were being chased in the first place is because they didn't want the paparazzi to follow them. So they were trying to lose them. If you just drove normally, nobody there wouldn't have been any issue whatsoever. Yeah, and then by the way, just stop off at like the local Denny's and sit down and have a meal and have them take your picture and then proceed to go on your merry way. Well, instead, they went to a police precinct at one point after driving in circles between the FDR Drive and West 57th Street. They went to the 19th Precinct, briefly huddled in a garage, then jumped into a yellow cab, and the cops actually blocked the street, I think, so they could eventually get away. But the whole reason this happened was because they didn't want the press to know where they were staying, which was a private residence on the Upper East Side. If they're staying in a hotel, I mean, I presume they just would have gone to the hotel. Who cares about these people? Honestly, why are we? Why are we caring about them? I, I, I mean, they 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 just seem so thirsty and so like, like, if you want your privacy, stay in behind your gates in Santa Barbara. Uh -huh. Don't go to these galas. Don't like do these stupid things. If you want your privacy, be a Jack Nicholson and and do your own thing. Be a recluse. Yeah. Well, they, they want the publicity, they want their books sold, they want people to watch their shows and their channel. There's a price for that. Mm -hmm. And you don't want your picture taken? Or you don't want people to know where you're staying? Like, I don't know. I, I just think it was blown so out of proportion, their people were losing it over this. And the cops were like, uh, it really wasn't that bad. It wasn't two hours, it was an hour. And they had a police escort with them. And there, was no, there were no 911 calls during this alleged ordeal. They never called 911. No I, one did. I, I think they should get canceled. <laughs> honestly. Mm. I mean, honestly, they're so annoying. They need to calm down. That's they need sure. to calm down. I mean, if you want all that attention, there's a price to pay. But meanwhile, just don't try to lose them and you'll, you'll be fine. Yeah. So that's, that's my take on that. I do like her dress, though. You like that? I do. I think she looks really pretty. It, it matched the Hertz dealership they walked through to avoid going in the front door of the Ziegfeld Theater. Oh, wow. They used that to go in and out so they could avoid the paparazzi out front. Oh, that's the hero? Well, this guy drove the cab. <laughs> he got in his cab for five minutes and then got out, got in someone else's cab. Look at him, he looks all proud. He said, <laughs> he said, uh, he said they were nervous, but they didn't look scared. What it, it's 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 ridiculous. Well, anyway, I can't. You know, um, I'm that's, how okay. over, that's how they over exaggerate everything. Yeah, yeah. They never got an accident. Near catastrophic. Near catastrophic. Um, Slow news day. We're exhausted, and we have a big day tomorrow. Uh, and again, the Friday smash we think will be posted Friday morning, a little bit later, because we're probably gonna have to do it when we wake up. Yeah. And I get to have my cousin here. Rick's daughter is going to come. Yes, Shoshana will be here. Um, uh, we got more projects. Uh, Chrissy, my friend from grade school, is coming. She lives in Westchester. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of helpers. And we're going to have highlights next week. And we remind you, if you haven't subscribed yet here on YouTube, please do so. And check out our Patreon. Uh, our show on Patreon. The Rick and Kelly Show on Patreon.com. Oh, I'm so it's excited. I'm so excited to get this house finished <laughs> and... Back to California. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be nice, but the weather's been good. Just the yeah. pollen's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yes. You got a lot of meds. Which one are you going to take tonight? <laughs> this Dessert tech night type. Right now. I'm taking it. Four days? Yes. Okay. All right. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.